Welcome to Improving a Natural Light Photo. Uh, today we're going to take one of my photos that I shot in the U.S. Virgin Islands and it's just natural light and we're going to pump it up a little bit using Adobe Photoshop, Adobe Lightroom, and some NYX software filter tools. The first step once we have the image in Adobe Lightroom is we use the recovery feature to recover any blown out highlights. And then we turn around and use the fill light feature to brighten any dark areas and I advise that you use this very sparingly. Then export the image out to Adobe Photoshop, and we do this as a copy, keeping the original in Lightroom. Uh, always have your your master. Don't don't mess with it. Always use a copy. And then once we're in Photoshop, we will actually make a background layer copy of the original photo, so that way we have a copy to revert to. The next step, I will use the Unsharp filter set at 50, 1 and 1, to give the image a little bit of a pump there, a little bit of added contrast since it's a little flat. Then I will launch the next software, and my favorite filter here is the Bleach Bypass filter. It tends to, to really smooth out the skin, especially when you bring your low contrast down and your global contrast. And then you can add the saturation and adjust your brightness as needed, though I prefer to do my brightness in Adobe Photoshop. And this is what I love about Nick's software. I can add control points, such as in the hair or any highlight areas, where I can reduce or control the opacity and the amount in the area by adjusting the circle so that way I only apply the filter effect exactly where I need it and I avoid spots where the filter doesn't um, help the situation. This is what makes uh, Nick software uh, so unique is the control points. I cannot stress to use those. So please use those control points to adjust the opacity as needed to reduce any highlights caused by the bleach bypass filter since the filter actually does increase contrast in certain areas and highlights is not one of those areas. You also have the ability to go up to the top of any of the NIC filters and toggle back and forth so you can preview your results. That way if you don't like something you can remove a control point or add more control points. This is what makes NIC software just an unbelievable filter to use is the control points. Please use them to your advantage. I will then export the image out into Photoshop and since the Beach Bypass filter does soften the skin I will do another 51 1 and 1 unsharp mask to give it a little bit more natural texture. Along the way, be sure and save your work throughout the image and editing process. It's very important, especially if your computer crashes. Let's review. Open the image in Adobe Lightroom, adjust your recovery and fill for your highlights and shadow areas that need some help, and then you export in Adobe Photoshop. You'll make a duplicate layer and then use the Unsharp filter. Then once we have the image in Nick's software, Bleach Bypass Filter, we'll adjust the local contrast and the global contrast along with the saturation until we get the skin the way we like it. Uh, the brightness I like to reserve for Photoshop. Now this next step, sometimes I do before the bleach bypass filter, but in this case we're doing it after. I'm just looking for any imperfections, any th threads, uh, in this case molds, or any debris from um, the beach there that's on the model that I may want to remove. And I use the cloning tool. I come from Photoshop from when it, version 1 when it came out about 20 years ago. So even though the healing brush works here, the cloning tool is something that I've, I'm accustomed to and have developed a skill with. Again, I set the opacity at 50% so I can do it in small increments, little by little, and watch my results as I go along the way. Now, it's important when you're using this cloning or even the, the healing brush to clean up the skin that you enlarge your photo on your canvas there and also use your bracket keys to enlarge your brush size as you're working. Now, Photoshop gives you the ability to burn and dodge like we did in the old darkroom days, but I prefer to use this snapshots technique in previous videos that I have on my new YouTube channel and even in Lens Diaries and the blog entry I give the step-by-step -step instructions so I'm not going to go over it here again. But basically you make a major adjustment on the image, you take a snapshot, the little camera located at the bottom of the history palette, then you do an undo and then you just paint in, you use your history brush and you can use your bracket keys for size and paint in the effect exactly where you need it. Now in this image I'm going to use the bleach bypass filter one more time for a little bit more effect, again using my control points to eliminate any hot spots. We will then of course do another unsharp mask filter again 51 and 1 are the settings. Now I'm going to use the NYX software Silver Effects Pro filter here to add a little bit of tone into the image. This image is a little blown out, a little dull, so we're going to pump it up, but this is where I use black and white to bring the color out. It's just a little technique that I like to do. In this case we're using the antique um, effect that uh, NYX software filter provides. Now we hit apply and of course it comes out as another layer in Photoshop. And then I'm going to take a snapshot so that way I have a way to go back because I'm going to start using the eraser tool to bring the skin back in 
and obviously I'm going to do it kind of rough, so I want to use the snapshot layer to paint in where I might overdo it and go into the background. So, and I set my eraser tool at, again at 30%, I like to do it in small increments. And this is the beauty of using the snapshots technique. It allows you to go back in and paint in with your history brush where you overdid it. And it's important here is you select the little small box next to um, that snapshot, not the large box. A lot of people are probably wondering, well, why not I just get it right in the camera? And that is the way I shoot, but sometimes we have photos that lead up to our actual shoot, in the case of this one, and we want to use um, a technique to bring them to life, and that's all we're doing here. But I cannot stress, always get it right in the camera. That is the proper way to do it when you're a professional photographer. In review, we use the W Photoshop clone tool, and we use the snapshots technique and the eraser tool. We work in small increments, the clone tool at 50%, the history brush at 30 and the eraser tool at 30%. With Nick's software, ColorFX Pro, we use the bleach bypass filter, and SilverFX Pro, we use the antique plate filter. Now in this next step, we're going to tweak the image again, because we're going to take it again into the bleach bypass filter. But this time, because we have erased out part of the pixels, we basically created a mask. So we're only affecting the background, we're not affecting the model skin like um, previously done. If you notice, it's just a really, really cool technique and you adjust it to your taste. Now once we hit the apply filter, we go from, from Nick back to Adobe Photoshop. Here we, it's another layer that's come in and we can sit here and adjust the opacity until we get it to the taste that we like it. Now this is the step that I like to do before we move on and we bring the color back into the image. Now the easiest way to bring the color back into the image is in Photoshop. We go to adjust the colors. And we do all this to personal taste and do it again in small increments. Now keep in mind that these layers that we're working on, that we're working at lower opacities, not at 100% the way we had brought them in, just by simple adjustment. So the next step that we're going to do is we're going to have to merge the layers together and bring everything back to 100%. That way if we do any effect like Unsharp Mask or something like that, it's done at full 100%. Now you're probably wondering, this year is a long way around to adjust an image, but believe it or not, we're doing this in less than 10 minutes. The total time of this clip is less than 10 minutes and I've actually even added review slides. So this is really a cool way to put a little snap into your photos. Now we're ready to select the three layers, the third layer at the bottom being the 100% one, the other two with the opacity, and then we're going to merge the layers and now that will make sure our top layer is 100% opacity. Now you notice I went back into the next software, but this time we're going to use the foliage filter to bring in some color and it gives me, allows me to add some greens and some yellows. Again, we're taking an image that we had gone into antique plate black and white and bringing the color back in. Now in review, we used the bleach bypass filter with the mask created from the eraser tool. We adjusted the layers opacity to our taste. We adjusted the color balance to our taste. We merged the layers to 100% and used the NYX foliage filter to bring color back into the image. Now we need Jenny to kind of pop out a little bit more, so we're going to adjust the levels in Adobe Photoshop and we're going to apply it to the entire image. We're basically going to darken it. And then we're going to do a snapshot underneath the history palette, the little camera there. Then we're going to do an undo, and then we're going to slowly, with the history brush at 30% increments, paint in the darkness where we would like to. And then we'll eventually zoom in with a smaller brush and work around the body so that way it blends. That's the beauty of the history brush. It's a very feathered edge, so you have no hard edges if you use something like the lasso or the marquee tool. So cannot stress that the history brush is just an easy way to paint things in and, and either correct things out or correct or darken things, adjust things without having any hard edges. Now the final step, we're going to take that background layer copy. It's basically a copy of the original image. We're going to raise it to the top, make it the top layer. Then we're going to adjust the opacity to kind of bring it through a little bit to all the corrections so that way everything kind of blends in and looks a little more natural. Basically, it's just a, the top copy of the original and just bringing it through, kind of like a bleed through by adjusting the opacity. And here you can see the before and after, and after is the way we want. So in review, we used Adobe Lightroom, the recovery for the highlights and the fill light for the dark areas. And then we used Adobe Photoshop, the clone tool, the erasure tool, and the snapshots technique. And we used everything in small increments. We also used the Nix software, ColorFX Pro, specifically the bleach bypass filter and the foliage, foliage filter. And then we used the NYX Silver FX Pro, the antique plate filter, to bring it into black and white. And then we took it from black and white back into Photoshop to bring the color out. In conclusion, we took 10 minutes or less to pump up a natural light photo for focus on the subject. Hopefully you enjoyed it, and we hope to see you on LensDiaries.com, where you can find plenty of photography tips. Thank you.